Minecraft 1.21 just got even bigger, with the developers at Mojang Studios just dropping a number of huge updates to the game. In this video, we're going to be covering all of these exciting new changes, as well as looking at some strange new armadillo reveals from Mojang Studios itself. So if you are hyped, do not forget to subscribe for more Minecraft news like this, and let's dive straight into it. Starting off, let's talk about Minecraft 1.20.3 which actually added some extremely interesting Breeze changes. On November the 20th, Sly Slime, the tech lead for Minecraft Java at Mojang, did confirm that Minecraft Snapshot 1.20.3 pre-release 1 is finally here. In case you do not know, this is a smaller update before we will actually receive Minecraft 1.21. It's basically a filler update between this one and Minecraft 1.21. However, in the following days, we did receive Minecraft Java Edition Snapshot 1.20.3 pre-release 2, bringing all new changes to the breeze. As you can see, the mob's wind charges now break decorated pots, chorus flowers, and pointed dripstone blocks upon collision. The reason Maljang made this very interesting change is due to the feedback from the community. Many people did find it not threatening enough, this is meant to be an incredibly strong mob which can only be found in the trial chambers. They did release a video to the official Minecraft YouTube channel, focusing on the breeze. The video featured Tom, an audio designer at Mojang Studios, who gave us just a bit more information about this mob. The one true purpose of this video was to gather community feedback about the breeze, and it is so incredible to see that in only a short number of days, Mojang Studios has already listened and made huge changes to the mob. With that being said though, let's now move on to talk about the new armadillo news and information straight from Mojang Studios itself. On November the 20th, this was posted saying behold the first concept art of the armadillo. Check out the latest Minecraft Monthly for more. And as you can see below, we have the first ever official concept art of the armadillo, featuring a slightly more purple version at the top left, whereas we can see a slightly more yellow version on the right. I saw this cause quite a bit of confusion because many people just thought we were getting one. However, in some concept art we actually received very recently in an episode of Minecraft Monthly, as you can see, in this concept art, which is actually more recent than the one we just looked at, it does feature five different versions of the armadillo. Alongside the one we saw at Minecraft Live 2023, there's multiple different colours as you can see here. But I do want to point out that concept art is not a commitment. Maljank has unfortunately said something like this in the past when they did confirm that Fireflyers would be coming to the game in some early concept art for the wild update but sadly did not deliver on that promise. However, as we saw with the frog, Maljank adding multiple colour schemes to a mob is nothing new. The reason I believe they are most likely going to add different colour schemes for the armadillo is to allow them to drop different coloured scoots to craft different coloured wolf armour. As we know this is a confirmed feature, the scoots dropped by the armadillo will be used to craft wolf armour, so I think this would be an incredibly cool feature. And going back just a second to the first ever concept art of the armadillo, you can already start to see some colour variations. I'm not sure if the one at the top right is slightly more yellow because it is a baby armadillo and the one at the top left is more purple because it is fully grown, that is something we will just have to wait and see. But as I said, so far, from what we know, from what Mojang has confirmed, there will most likely be five different colour variants of the armadillo. Finally though, we need to discuss a huge ongoing mystery within the Minecraft community and that is the Troll Chambers. Jay Wells, the Minecraft community manager, did post this on November the 22nd, saying how are you getting on with the 1.21 experimental features in the Minecraft preview and snapshots? And then goes on to just talk about the troll chambers a bit more. But what I think is very important in this post is the word experimental. Jay Wells is just reassuring us that this content, despite it being awesome, is experimental. They are nowhere near complete, there is so much more 
more work to be done on this content, and there's still a long way to go. I pointed this out previously with this mysterious door which right now does appear to lead to nowhere, alongside the trial key, which has been a huge subject of many people's curiosity, because at the moment it does do nothing, but it was teased by David that there is a huge mystery behind this item. It has been a few weeks since we did receive the trial key and still there is no real purpose to it. There's still a huge community out there that does believe this will literally be the key to the fourth Minecraft dimension, whereas others do think this could actually be used to unlock a boss chamber. So far this theory makes by far the most sense, especially when you look at the key itself and realise that there is a giant skull on the top, so I think that whatever this does lead to is definitely spooky. The reason I think the announcement earlier on in the video though about Minecraft 1.20.3's pre-releases, the reason I think that is so exciting is because once all of that content is out of the way, there will officially be nothing standing between us and Minecraft 1.21 itself. As I've also pointed out in my previous videos, we have now received all Minecraft 1.21 content as shown at Minecraft Live 2023. Apart from the armadillo, which we do most likely believe will be released sometime within the next month or so, everything else is currently a mystery. Hopefully before the end of the year, going into December, we will receive the armadillo, maybe even the scoots and wolf armour, just to keep us busy with something to do. Last year with the Trials and Tales updates, the majority of the new big announcements did happen around about February, because in January the team is most likely on a holiday vacation. So as I said, hopefully going into December or maybe even the end of November, the team will manage to get out some final content before they go on their holiday vacation, where then in February we can expect a turn of announcements. That is when the big announcements will start rolling in. As we shown earlier with that post from David though, there does seem to be a big mystery behind the troll key, so I would not be too surprised if that is what the team is working on right now. Whether we will actually receive that sometime this year or in 2024, I'm not too sure. So be sure to drop your thoughts, theories, opinions, and any cool update ideas down below alongside Do This Mojang so I can find them. As we learned earlier on in the video, the developers are definitely out there and they are listening to our feedback, so yeah, please drop your thoughts down below. And as always, for more Minecraft news and information, be sure to check out this video on screen right now. In this one we go a lot more in depth into the trial chambers and trial key mystery, so for more news and information about that to keep you busy, be sure to check out this video on screen.